when the wet steam flows through the throttle wall and remains wet at exit what will happen to the temperature and quality so this time we'll explain with the help of two diagram with the help of ts diagram and one is hs diagram so in the case of vapor your dome shape will be like this and the constant pressure lines are represented in this fashion and this pressure is greater than the pressure p2 whereas the constant pressure lines are going in this fashion this represents the pressure p2 and this represents the pressure p1 and we are given a throttling wall means throttle process so entropy will increase and enthalpy remain constant he says that the wet steam flows through and remains wet it means that both the points are inside the dome so this point is 1 and this point is 2 and the dryness fraction lines are represented like this so this is a dryness fraction very close to 1 this is dryness fraction 1 this is very close to 1 maybe 0 0.9 and this is lower dryness fraction is 0 0.7 so because of this one we can conclude that the dryness fraction improves if you go to the TS diagram we have P1 and P2 and since the entropy is increasing enthalpy is constant the process is represented from 1 to 2 which is a irreversible process and at point number 2 and 1 we have temperature T2 and T1 here so naturally the temperature T2 is lower than T1 so temperature will decrease it means that your choice C is correct temperature decreases but quality will increase if both the conditions inlet and exit are wet in this question we are given the steam enters the adiabatic turbine operating at a steady state adiabatic means heat transfer is zero and for turbine we can apply a steady flow energy equation since adiabatic we can write q equal to zero so this time we are given a turbine we have inlet and exit with the enthalpy of 3251 that is the inlet enthalpy so we have h1 equals to 3251 leaves as saturated mixture at 15 kilopascal so we have p2 equal to 15 kilopascal with a dryness fraction of 0.9 so x2 is equal to 0.9 and at this 15 kilopascal we have given hf and hg value so hf is given as 225.94 hg is given as 2598.3 since the steam is wet we can calculate h2 as hf plus x2 into hg minus hf so put all this value at 15 kilopascal and find out enthalpy which is 2361.06 kilojoules per kg in addition to this we are given the mass flow rate that equal to 10 kg per second so we apply the steady flow energy equation is q dot plus m dot into h1 plus 1 by 2 v1 square plus gz1 equal to w dot plus m dot into h2 plus 1 by 2 v2 square plus gz2 adiabatic means q dot will be 0 changes in kinetic energy will neglect because that data is not given to us so v1 and v2 will be cancelled even the idea about the potential it is also not given so we'll make z1 and z2 each equal to 0 so we left with very simple equation that is w dot equals to m dot into h1 minus h2 m dot is given as 10 h1 is 3251 minus h2 is 2361.06 so this answer will be kg per second into kilojoules per kg that directly come in kilowatts and then you can write down this value sorry is megawatts dividing by thousand so we have 8.9 megawatt the choice b is correct choice we are given a 1 kg of water whenever we are given the mass it's a non-flow process so we have to use q is equal to delta u plus w equation now you can very well write q is equal to delta h for constant pressure process and you can write q is equal to delta u for constant volume process because for constant volume work is equal to zero now let's check out the problem in a saturated liquid state at 2 bar with the volume and enthalpy and internal energy is given heat is added at constant pressure so here constant pressure process is important term for us so we can use this equation that is q is equal to m into h2 minus h1 heat added so it will be 
h2 minus h1. So this time we have given the mass is equal to 1. Enthalpy h2 given to us is 3277 and h1 is 505. So very quickly we can calculate this value. Directly enthalpies are given in this problem. And unit is kg into kilojoules per kg. So your answer will come in kilojoules. That is 2772 kilojoules. So whenever you are given the question, write down the formula. Just check the process and be selective in the proper formula. And suppose instead of constant pressure, it says constant volume. Then you can use the second equation. Suppose he mentions so. So in that case, Q is equal to M into U2 minus U1. Because in the problem, both values are given to you. So don't get confused. Because in the gate examination, they always mention the clear process. In a power plant, the water density equal to 1000 is pumped from 80 kilopascal. Density is constant, 80 kilopascal to 3 megapascal. The pump has an isotropic density of 0.85. Assuming the temperature of water remains constant, we want to calculate specific work. Now see the word, pump is a steady flow process. And for the steady flow process, the specific work, W, is given as integral minus VDP. Here pressure P1 is given in 80 kilopascal divided by 100 will convert into bar. So it is 0.8 bar. P2 is 30 bar. 1 megapascal is 10 bar. In this equation you have to take the pressure in bar and do to convert the pressure bar into pascal. So you have to multiply it by 100. So that is why in the equation you multiply it by 100. Your answer will come in kilojoules per kg then. Secondly, we are given the density equal to 1000. Water is assumed to be incompressible, so density will always remain constant. So we have minus of V, integral of dP, multiplied by 100 from 1 to 2. So we have minus 1 divided by 1000, specific volume, P2, 30, minus 0.8, multiplied by 100 is a conversion factor to calculate it kilojoules per kg. This one is our isentropic work. So we have isentropic work is minus 2.92 kilojoules per kg. In this problem, the pump efficiency is also given to us. So if you write the word supplied, then you take the positive sign. Because the supplied sign, if you write supplied, means the minus sign is included. The efficiency of pump is always equals to W isentropic by W actual. So W actual will be equals to W isentropic is 2.92 and efficiency is given as 0.85. So this answer is very close to 3.43. So choice D is correct choice.